Hi guys and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel and in today's episode we're going to I'm going to show you this uh, little tip um that I sort of came across or did on my uh, Tamiya Grasshopper bodies uh, just to give them a bit more detail. Now what it is is if you look at the two bodies we've got the uh, candy green uh, metallic edition body and we have also got the black edition body now on both bodies it recommends that you paint the, the roll bars here on the body and here uh, that they're painted now on the black edition um, it's painted in silver which i've done on the candy green edition it's very much like the original uh, grasshopper body the roll bars are to be painted in black uh, but uh, I didn't have a black for this purpose. Anyway, um, what I did do is I, did, I didn't have any paints. This was the thing, and I didn't, I wasn't going to get any that easily. So I was looking for something that I could uh, detail the roll cages with, and I came across these. Now I bought a set of these for some other purpose, and, and I was looking at them. And because um, I had the bronze pen in the middle, I just had a single singular bronze pen, and I marked some um, ABS plastic like these body shells here, and um, oh, excuse me, and uh, I noticed that the paints, um, you know, stuck to the plastic fine. The pen, 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 paint, whatever you want to call it, stuck to the plastic fine, and the plastic didn't absorb it either. So, I thought, well, that might be a handy idea, then, for doing the uh, the body shells. So, and uh, anyway, I kept on looking around, and eventually I was in, uh, I think it was Asda, or something like that, and they had packs of these pens. Now, these are uh, Sharpie pens. Obviously, everyone is familiar with Sharpie pens, like permanent markers. But uh, these particular three, like their uh, metallics colours, um, silver, gold, and bronze. They're a bit more paint-like. The consistency of the ink is a bit more paint-like. So for the price it was, I think I paid three pound for them, and I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And the the first body shell I did. You have to excuse me, I'm yawning terribly today. Um, the first one I did was the uh, the black edition body. There, we'll just have a quick look, and as you can see. I detailed uh, all the roll cage in it and um, all the way around the buggy and you know and um, I'm quite pleased with it really I mean yeah I mean you can see this line down is the molding mark on the actual shell but otherwise uh, besides that the, it came out quite well I mean they've just been painted directly over the black ABS and uh, it's like paint in a pen, really. And uh, I thought it could turn out quite well. You know, I thought, oh, well, that's good, that. And then I thought about, well, I really need to do my other grasshopper body, the candy green one. And I thought, well, what could I do with it? So I thought I didn't have any black, which is what the uh, instructions recommend. So I thought, well, I've got these pens. Maybe I'll use one of them. And I didn't think silver would look right. And since the metallic candy green um, body colour is quite a warm colour, I decided to go for the gold. And uh, there it is. And uh, we gave that a go. So I did this actually last night. And uh, I did exactly the same way I did the black edition body. And I just painted with the pen, basically. And, and it's so easy, it was dead easy to go around the edges without getting over a spill or anything. And uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. It worked quite well. So I just thought I'd show you, share with you this little tip that you could use um, Sharpies. Now, some of the normal Sharpie markers, as I said, they have a different ink consistency. And if you just went and used black, it doesn't have, it doesn't work the same way as I did try this on an original grasshopper body. But the inks on those are different and they work much more, like I said, like a paint. So, um, yeah, so there we go. I hope you like that, guys. Just a nice little tip. Well, yeah, I used the, the Sharpie metallic um, pens and I detailed the roll cages on both bodies for the grasshopper. So I just thought I'd show you that. 
Uh, now, slightly deviating away from the painting roll cages of grasshoppers. Move them out of the way. I've got here the uh, associated uh, B3 factory team edition. Now, um, as I've said in a previous video, I'll be getting ready to race at the Lakeland Classic and it's coming up this weekend in Kendall. And uh, this one's now done. I've finished it all off and it's ready to race. The, I finally got the back tyres sorted. So I've got some Schumacher yellow mini spikes and inserts on the back. And I've, they're all now glued up and uh, ready to use as well. And what else to do? You can't really see it too well, but the, <laughs> the pinion there is a slightly bigger pinion. I've uh, geared it up a couple of teeth, I think, from what was originally on it. So I've done that. Just to give us a bit more top end on the track. Um, so I think it will need it, to be honest. Um, and I think, uh, oh yeah, I might have mentioned in the other video, but a uh, previous one, but the RPM front arms are on as well. So that's nice, nice and uh, strong. So other than that, it's all done. I've tested it, to give it a bit of a shakedown. A few, uh, about a week ago, was it now, at Northwest Nitro, when we were having a, a mess around there. So, yeah, it's uh, it's ready to go. Not much more I can do with that one. Now, the other one I've been working on as well is my uh, T3. And, uh, again, now we've got the uh, wheels and tyres. They're all glued on now. Um, so that's that done. I've also, um, I did have a problem with the shocks leaking. So I've just rebuilt these again the last few days. And uh, I haven't got any seals for them um, to replace the ones that are on it. Because I think that's what's causing them to weep a bit. So anyway, I refilled the shock oil up. And what I did is, um, so I'm hoping it helps uh, at least a little or stops it, is I spread some Vaseline around where the oil seal is and around the top of the threads where the shock cap uh, goes on. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping now there'll be a li little less oil seepage, if any. Um, I mean, mainly, it's just got to get me through the race, and uh, hopefully I'll try and find some, uh, maybe some team shocks for the, for this at some point. Um, what else have we done? Um, I, I say I've given this a little shakedown, and I did find that over some of the jumps, when I was jumping it, However, I was on a on a one eighth nitro track at the time. Um, the uh, ball cups kept on popping off there, so I took off the uh, the old plastic ones that were on it. And my uh, good friend Mark from Swift RC uh, gave us some RPM ones, so I fitted them on. Now I'm hoping they're going to be now a bit of a tighter fit, and that will uh, keep uh, that will stay on there. For this weekend when we go racing and what else oh and i have put in a stronger servo uh a, you know a quicker more powerful servo as the other one it was it was just too slow just too slow really so we've got here i've got an expert s1-3601 servo it's brushless and it's a low voltage one so it should work all right with my uh the gear that i've got in the car uh, other than that, it's, that's all ready to go as well. The only thing I haven't sourced was a um, replacement gear cover. So luckily, um, there's four races between each of my classes on Sunday. So we're sharing a gear cover. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll hunt one down for this. But yeah, we're sharing a gear cover. Now, the only thing I've got left to do now is, just in case the weather is a bit inclement on race day, which you never know, is I ordered... Uh, this, if you can see it, uh, Team Associated RC10 B3 um, body by uh, Penguin Body Shells. So this is a replica B3 one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to cut it down, cut it out and cut it down, fit it to the, the T3, and it's going to act as a dust cover. Um, because when the short, uh, the short cost, when the stadium truck bodies are on, let me put it on there, you can see, Massive uh, arches and gaps between the electrics and the chassis and the body. So if it's bad weather and we get all full of crap, 
and whatnot. So I'm hoping the uh, we fit that V3 body as an under as a dust cover. Um, it'll just keep out some of the crap and muck. Yeah, so uh, well, that's where we stand. That's where we're at. Um, looking forward to this week's race meet. So there you go. So um, yeah, cheers for checking out the video, guys. I hope that's been of some use to you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one very soon. Um, take care. And uh, cheers for checking it out. Oh, also, actually, just before you go, if uh, you're new to seeing the channel, if you consider giving us a like and subscribing and hit the notification bell, that'd be much appreciated. And we'll, uh, we'll have more content coming soon. Right. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye.